In this video, we will present ProReveal that integrates PVA guards into progressive data exploration. Allowing people to articulate their findings as PVA guards in the middle of exploration. We're gonna look into a movie dataset using ProReveal. To create our first visualization, we're gonna open a visualization creator by clicking on the new visualization button. In the visualization creator, you can choose up to two fields that you want to include in your visualization. Let's select the genre field to see which genre has the most movies. Choose the genre field on the list and click on the create a visualization button below. The visualization we just created is now shown on the ongoing visualization list. And the main view shows the estimated number of movies of each genre using a gradient plot. It seems that the drama genre ranks first, followed by comedy, and the distribution of the counts has a long tail. Let's safeguard these intermediate findings. First, we're gonna leave a PVA guard on the rank of drama. Click on drama and choose the rank PVA guard on a context menu. You can move the rank bar up and down to choose a desired rank. Here, we want to present that drama ranks first, so let's put it below drama and click on the leave a PVA guard button. We just created a rank PVA guard. In a PVA guard list on the right, you can see the guard and its validity measure. Its p-value is now 0, which means we can expect with a high probability that drama will rank first after computing the entire data. Now, let's leave a PVA guard on our second finding that the distribution of the counts has a long tail. Click on any genre and select the power law PVA guard. In this case, you don't have to select a constant because the distribution is automatically fit to the current counts. We use the kolmogorov smirnov statistic that indicates the maximum distance between two cumulative distributions. Finally, we know that there are many comedy movies. We have about 10,000 movies now, and it seems that at least 20% of movies are comedy. Click on comedy to open the context menu, but this time, we will use the value PVA guards. You can move the constant bar left and right to choose a desired value. Let's set it to about 2000 and click on the create button. So far, we created three PVA guards on our intermediate knowledge from the gradient plot of genre. Let's keep going. Drama movies look popular, so let's look into them. Click on drama and choose the first button with a filter icon. You will see the visualization creator that you have already seen before, but this time there is a filter section, indicating that the visualization will be created only with the drama movies. Choose year and score to see of which period drama movies has the highest review score. Let's wait for a few seconds to get a clearer result. It seems that old drama movies are more popular than recent ones. You can leave a comparative PVA guard to safeguard this knowledge. Open the context menu on the 1960s and select the comparative PVA guard. You need to set the second period that you want to compare with 1960s. Let's right-click on 2010s and click on the Create button. You can see that our new comparative PVA guard is added on the list. Drama movies released in 1960s have a mean score of near 7, so this time, we will leave a range PVA guard to present the desired range of the mean score. Click on Drama again and choose Range. You can see a gray brush on the visualization, and you can move its edges to set an acceptable range for score. Let's examine other fields as well. How are the review scores distributed? Let's see. Create a new visualization with the score field. Here is a histogram of score, and we're gonna split bins to see details. It seems that the scores are normally distributed. Let's leave a normal PVA guard to safeguard this knowledge. This time the case statistic is higher than the previous one of the power law PVA guard. This means the distribution of score is skewed from a normal distribution. Next, we want to check score and revenue are linearly correlated. Create a visualization with the score and revenue fields. 
Since we selected two quantitative fields, a heat map is shown instead of a gradient plot. Let's leave a linear PVA guard on the heat map. Looking through the heat map, we can see there are outliers that earned more than the average. Open the data viewer from the context menu to see raw data items of a cell. You can see The Lion King earned a lot compared to the movies with a similar review score. Finally, you can export the PVA guards you left during exploration for future use. We will first see a categorical field, vote variable flag. The bar chart shows the category, not available, has much more rows than, variable. We are going to leave a comparative PVA guard between the two categories. Next, we visualize a quantitative field, parallax which indicates the absolute stellar parallax of a source. Let's leave a normal PVA guard to check out to what extent the distribution of parallax follows a normal distribution. This time, we visualize two quantitative fields, BPG and BPRP, which are related to the color of stars. The two fields seem to have a linear relationship. So, we create a linear PVA guard to safeguard this finding. Now, we will focus on a small subset of data by selecting only the rows whose vote variable flag is variable. Then, we will visualize the distribution of RA, the barycentric right ascension of a source. Since the subset covers only 0.03% of the dataset, it would take longer to have a stable visualization. To demonstrate a rejection example, we will leave a value PVA guard on one of the bars hastily. Let's alternate computation between visualizations to see parallel progress. It seems that the visualizations have been stabilized. Note that the value PVA guard that we made hastily is likely to be rejected.